confused because she gets irritated. Whatever irritates Kim, I like Too to funny, do. mama. <laughs> so get that out of here. I would like get I had to for your son. Too funny, mama. What's with the grip? Chef and young Kim. Yeah. Oh, hey. Lord have mercy. I hope y'all to hear what I just said. How y'all doing? Welcome to Two Funny Mamas. Obviously, it's just one funny mama because the other two funny mamas is not even here. I hear sirens. Are you okay? What are you talking about? What? It was black. Don't even try. It was a black screen. You're no, it wasn't. Arrested? It was always me. No, it was not. You're getting arrested again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the middle of New York. This is what happens. <laughs> I'm putting on my other eyebrow. Ladies, when you get older, if you want to look young and fresh, put your eyebrows on. No matter what else, always have your eyebrows on. You brush them up, and then you put them on like this. Do a little bit like that, like that in the V. It's a tutorial right here. Then you brush it up with that and get you a brush like this. Get you an angled brush, and that's all you need, and a little powder thing. And I got a little powder thing. Right up here on the right, sir, where this man is standing you, on the porch. On the right-hand side, you see this, this black man here. standing on the porch right here. This is why we get an award, y'all. This is right, right <laughs> here. This is it. I'm, you, I, might, I might disappear. It's going to take me two minutes to get up to my computer on the- um, It's going to take you more than two minutes, me two. trust me. So no, it's not. I'm just my there. stuff and I'm I'm doing my podcast you right now. Don't be trying to act like, look at that, y'all. See that eyebrow? That eyebrow. Oh, Lord Jesus, I'm dropped. The, that eyebrow right there took off. That eyebrow took off 10 years. Put your oh, eyebrow look at you. and get what? Wait, 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 Sherry. And if you're really yeah. feeling froggy, you can feel in when you, you're losing that hair right there. Or is put in a little, take the, take the brush. I'm oh, sorry. And create sorry. you some baby hair. See, you can put a little shadow right there. Look at that. Woo! Put you a little shadow right there. Like you got a lot of hair, a little baby hair. I love your tutorial. That's cute. Thank you. Hi, Lexi. All with one brush and some, and some brown or black. You always look pretty. You don't need eyebrows. Oh, thank you, friend, but I do. I that's, a, that's, the, uh, that's the coffee pot Kim bought. Okay, I'll tell you. Sister. Thank you very much, people. Kim bought me a coffee pot. I did buy you a coffee My favorite coffee pot. It does everything. So I'm very excited you got it. Did you get the did you get the filter yesterday? We got the we got the filters too. Okay. A little filter. A little I, as a matter of fact, I got the, the filters are right here. Oh yes, only first of all, it's only one filter. It's a reusable. Oh. You just have to rinse it out or whatever. I don't know. I ain't used it with the coffee pot, so don't tell. I don't know if it works or not. But it said it on the thing, so I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna get one too." So a reusable. Filter. Well, thank you so much. Because like um, you know you can have uh, you put the water the water reservoir on the back because I know your counter space in New York. You know you ain't got a lot yes. of counter space, so put the water reservoir on the back of it, and that's gonna make it real skinny. Perfect, right there in the kitchen, in that corner. You know, I know which corner it goes in. Gotcha. I'm walking oh, up you to brown. You, you work out every morning. How you gonna breathe hard? I know, girl. Walking up these stairs, there's so many daggone stairs on a brownstone. Oh my goodness. But you, oh, yeah, no. that should that should definitely uh, keep you in shape, girl. Wait till I tell you. Oh, I'm gonna have to show you these videos. I should have sent them to Chris. Baby what? Joshua had, he's got all the, uh oh, uh oh, oops, oops, I'm about to talk about him. See how we're supposed to talk about our kids? And here he comes. Hey, honey, what's wrong? He's home from school. What's the matter? Huh? Oh, no. What's wrong? He got his uh, teeth pulled out yesterday. His all baby of them? Uh, you want to show him? He got, Five teeth, five baby teeth. Why are they still in his mouth at 12? That's why they pulled him. What's oh. wrong? Do you feel okay? Yeah. No fever? Okay, so he was under anesthesia yesterday. Uh. He, he first thing he did was when he woke up, he said, <laughs> he woke up out of that anesthesia. He said, uh, uh, 
Is Trump arrested yet? Girl, I'm calling. I was like, how do you even know? And then he said, well, who's the president? And um, we, he said a lot of funny things. Someone said, there's your mom. He said, what's a mom? You were funny yesterday. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. Oh, my like, God. You know, he's going to get you some money. And he's been having ice cream and soup and popsicles. And he's been in the bed. He just got up and came down. You feel OK after anesthesia? Does his stomach hurt? Is he nauseous? Are you nauseous? Mm -mm. So what's going on? Because me, uh, me and Auntie Sherry are going to do the podcast. What would what, you feel? How feeling? long is the podcast? Oh, it sounds like it's going to be 10 minutes. <laughs> Chris. How long is the podcast? Uh, about 45 minutes. That's about 10 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. You got to be a mama. Store for I found money. You found money, mm -hmm. and you want to go to the store. Yeah. What? You stayed out of school today. Mm -hmm. So we we gonna stay in in bed. You feel okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Let me and Auntie Sherry talk. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to go to the store and buy what? Uh, 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 I found twenty dollars in my room. Okay. How's your mouth feel? Mm, kind of sore. Okay, do you need ice? You want some more Motrin? No. Let mommy see it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Did I okay. freeze? They did take off. Yeah, you did. Sherry is frozen. Oh, you're back, Sherry. So those were his I'm baby back. teeth. Wow. Oh, Josh, wow. Sure. Those were his baby wow. teeth. Wow. They Maybe pulled them all out? Yeah, but he had two teeth in the roof of his mouth that were trying to come out. So they had to put holes in his mouth, I guess, to let them come out. Come out. So he has two holes. And the rest of the baby teeth they took out so the holes could, uh, so the teeth could uh, show them right here. See this tooth right here, Sherry? Yeah. That was growing out the yeah. side because it didn't have anywhere to go. Yeah. He did good. They put, him, uh, put an IV in him and everything. You did good, Joshua. I know you want your mama to hug you. You did good, baby. Yeah, you want to take me to the store? We'll take you to, can Dare Joy take you to the store? Uh, $30. You have $30? You found in your room or mommy's room? Did My you? room. Because I went in there and I was trying to put these pants on. Okay. So, Where did you find? Because mommy, you didn't go in mommy's little drawer next to her bed and take that 20. Mm -hmm. <laughs> still there? Mm hmm. Huh? Okay. okay. All right. Let uh, me and Auntie Sherry got to do our two funny mamas. That's how we got in the war. We got to talk to the people. Okay. We'll take you to the store. I got to talk to Dare Joy. You go. Uh. No, oh, you're going to sit on Dare Joy's lap now. Okay. All right. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. That's what mamas do. Oh, oh that is that's the cutest. Oh, yeah. That's what mothers do, honey. We go through it. So, but what's so crazy is it was. Uh, it was um, scheduled that uh, I got a crown while he was getting his teeth pulled. I was like, what kind of So I'm in the other room uh, like this. He's getting knocked out, worked on. So I couldn't run over there. It was a mess, child. It was crazy. Why did you get work done at the same time your son was getting work? Ask Siobhan that. <laughs> Why are y'all getting scheduled? It was it was supposed to be Siobhan's in her defense. She's gonna say you were supposed to go first and then, but still it was just it was a mess. I, I'd never do that again. You're right, but it did distract me because oh, you know the anesthesiologist and the doctors were sick of me. I kept coming in there. They were like, "He's fine. He's fine." I was like, "Okay." Yeah, because they can't concentrate. Once they they take them, you're not supposed to be going in there. You go in there when they're done. Yeah, I did. I kept going in there videotaping. <sighs> how was the winery how did you do sherry oh at the city winery um in new york how was it tell us the guy i'm sorry i got it. my my phone is about to die so i gotta bring it lower with um i got I, I, i'm redoing my office and my i gotta redo the hard wire so i'm on my cell phone while i'm doing this but um 
it went really well. It went, it was really good. And uh, I think there probably were maybe 10 seats that were, that uh, were open, but so we pretty much sold out. And uh, everybody was asking about you and it was great. And just to let people know, I, I'm gonna be at the City Winery May 4th, but my special guest is going to be Kim Whitley. So Kim is going to fly in for the show on May 4th at the City Winery in New York uh -huh. at uh, Chelsea Pier. So if you wanna see, if you want to see Kim and I together in New York, it'll be May 4th at 8 o'clock on Thursday at 8 o'clock. Especially oh, this Kim with Yeah, and you it's uh, get your seats because there's not that many seats left. <laughs> That's the good thing. There's not very many seats left, so have your seats. Oh, man. oh, oh. that's my diabetic alarm. Okay. Oh, What's going what on? The <laughs> there's a... There's I, a... Know, I, uh -huh. there's I'm sorry, a that's all good. There's a link in the description of the live chat and the uh, and the podcast as well. It, maybe not right now, but at some point, Sherry, uh, last week, uh, we got some funny comments about the Sherry Show TV website debacle. So remind me to bring oh, that up. Oh, that's funny. And it's all fixed now. I was so mad. It's all fixed. So there's a whole box that says tour, and it's got all of our dates on Sherry Show TV and it's got the link. You can click on the link and you can go to all of Kim and I, our dates, May 19th, we're in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. May 20th, we are in, no, excuse me, May 19th, we're in New Brunswick, New Jersey. May um, 20th, we're in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. And May 21st, we are in Wilmington, Delaware. Um, <laughs> I heard those tickets are doing well also. They're doing extremely well. We're doing great. We're 40% sold in wow. in those venues. So which is really good cuz we got a month and a half. So get your tickets. And uh, oh, and I'll be in Chicago April 28th, April 29th at Riddle's Comedy Club. That's Damon Wayans. So wait, you going April 28th and 29th? I, I know my manager's manager ain't saying that, but I think I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do Jimmy Kimmel on Mother's Day weekend unless I get another offer and then I tell him I cancel. No, I'm just joking. Girl, so you're going to be in Vegas Mother's Day weekend? Be, Mother's Day weekend, I'll be in Vegas, but doing Mother's Day stuff, like four shows instead of five. Because my manager yeah. manager always tells me, you know, do what you do and you're a mother. You got to, on Sunday, I need to be home with my son. Oh, to clarify, Kim's doing Jimmy Kimmel's Comedy Club that weekend yeah. in Vegas, if anybody was confused. But get tickets if you're uh, in Vegas. Yeah, not to mention she's not doing Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, I not don't yet. know if he's single. Not, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. What? What? Oh, sorry. Jimmy Kimmel. That's nice. Right. You're going to be in Vegas at the Jimmy Kimmel Comedy Club the weekend of Mother's Day. So grab your tickets. You got four shows. Uh, Friday, uh, two shows on Friday, two shows on Saturday. Then I'll come home on Sunday because the weekend before I'll be Thursday at the City Winery with Sherry. Then that next weekend I'll be in Vegas at the Jimmy Kimmel Comedy Club. Then that following weekend I will be on tour with Sherry Shepard. And uh, that next weekend I'll be on in the cruise with Tom Joyner. On the Tom Joyner. Morning son, show crew. Yeah, it's gonna be a mess. Let me get my nanny together. That's gonna be why don't you take why don't you take Joshua to Vegas and do Mother's Day in Vegas? In Vegas. That's what I thought. Maybe I will do that. Thank you, dear Joy. Yeah, like get like a cute little suite and then you know they got in in, in Vegas and just make a you know make a day out of it. Take them to see Usher. Not uh, no. <laughs> You said they're gonna see Usher. You know what? Maybe Circus Soleil or something. Yeah, he would like that. It will be on Sunday. Okay, then come back to LA on Monday. He would like that. I, you, you know, uh huh. Somebody, I could take somebody with me. Yeah, that'd be a lot of fun. We have a mm -hmm. happy birthday. We gotta say to somebody's mother on the we show today. We do. Who's I to say that? Chris's mommy, my mother-in-law. That, 
There's a picture, actually. Yeah, happy birthday. It's my mom's uh, birthday today, April 5th. And check out the uh, the custom photo we have to celebrate. Let's see. Mommy's Oh, picture. it's your mom's I'm birthday. I'm upset with your mother, though. Oh, oh, just hit, oh, just hit four when we do that. She did the Barbie. You did the Barbie. Why does a date on it say July 31st? Uh, it's a it's a social media thing that's going around. So Barbie's movie is coming out the twenty first. So they've got the me the uh, selfie generator or whatever you call it. Uh, so yeah, happy birthday to Joni! All the uh, nice people that hit up my Instagram as well. She loves two funny mamas. She loves you too. She got to see you live. Joni did not stay at the show in St. Louis for me to hug her. I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of glad she left. She came up on stage whenever the madness was happening. After you know, whenever you were kind of so. Kim Kim decided she would call up certain people to tell them they could walk up backstage and go backstage where you kind of can't really have everybody. But then the rest right. of the crowd's like, well, I'll just walk up there too. So my mom comes up. I gave her the nastiest look. I was like, get off the Why stage. Anyone can get on the stage. Your mother can get on the stage. Because yeah, I wanted her to wait. But, but she was she was one of a hundred. <laughs> she said, "I gotta go. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm leaving." So yeah, shout out. I could not believe that you kicked your mother off the stage, Joni. I want to apologize. <laughs> that was not my instruction. Because <laughs> first of all, if anybody, if your mo- anybody's supposed to have a pass to do whatever they want, it's your mother. Like fair you're waiting for the day to walk Especially across the stage. So let me tell you, oh my god, B flat. Her auntie, her mother walked across the stage. And they told B flat, um, "Mom, you have to get off the stage." She said, uh, "This is my daughter's show." <laughs> and she looks like B flat. It's wild. <laughs> it's it, she's and she floats when she walks too. It's wild. Oh, uh, she said, "This is my daughter's done. show," and yeah. she did not get off the stage. Oh, that's what your mother should have said. This is my son's show, and kept it said show. right there. No, no, Sherry, she's talking to her son. He's the one kicking her off the stage. <laughs> I got it was involuntary it was I was the look I washed over my face I just looked at her and I looked down at her she's like five five and I go get off the stage I couldn't believe it I just I I, I couldn't believe you kicked her off stage I didn't want her to be part of the madness she could what she can get the VIP treatment just wait let me tell you your mom is supposed to start the madness you don't kick your <laughs> I'll remember that. All right. This is the kind of, these are the perks of being a parent and 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 watching you her all the night. She was like, I don't know where my son is going. He's taking a nose dive to hell. <laughs> and now she gets to say, That's Oh, this was what it was. The for. perks of your son doing the show. Exactly. I'm done. I'm yeah, done. I blew it. All those times she said it, she so was like, apologize. I, I can't believe. Oh, other with a quick. Your mother got to do the podcast with us now because all those times her <sighs> friend said, Joni, what's happened with Chris? And she was like, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Thank you. And now she got the perks. Her son is successful. He owns his own business. He puts on shows, major people coming. She's supposed to be able to stand on that stage and create the madness. We you owe her. It. We definitely owe <laughs> yeah. you her. Absolutely. That's uh, that's fair. That's fair. I'll tell you what. How about we we get her to New York and she can get the Sherry Show treatment or uh... oh she oh she'll get the treatment. Let me tell you. Mm. Let me tell you how much she gonna get the treatment. Coco Brown had friends that came. You know, because whenever you say to me on my show, these are friends of if once E my assistant says, you know, these is this Chris's mother, or this is Chris's friends. They get like the royal royal VIP treatment. Like you you get to come in my dressing that's room. That's so nice. I'm, I will sit with you and, and chat. So she said, these are Coco Brown's friends. So Coco is, of course, royal treatment. We go to, back to my dressing room. They got all kinds of products for me to try, jellies and jams at their business. We in there, and it's Coco. It's her It's her friend. So I'm going to, we got bacon jelly, frog jelly, alligator jelly, frog barbecue jelly. sauce, <laughs> hot sauce. I'm diabetic. I'm tasting all this stuff going. I'm about to pass out in two minutes. But it's Coco's friends. It's Cole Brown's friends. And then I'm like, so you you get that kind of treatment. So send your mother. Send Joni to the show. I will. And watch I will. if I don't send her back home in a private plane. I'm telling you. 
Uh, I gotcha. Um, I do have uh, a couple other Barbies I wanted to show off. And let's see. Sure. This is kind of uh, in line with the both of you. Do you see these, Kim? <laughs> let's see this. Let's get to this just a second. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, uh, not with the mic in your hand. Read the top. Who is it? I don't have my glasses on, damn it. This is on my cell phone. It ain't clear. It says, it's a Barbie. Got to oh, that's me. But what's the word? Oh, that's me. What's the word, Jerry? <laughs> I got don't, nobody say, uh, I don't know why nobody else can talk. Oh, I kind of want to let you go sit in it for a second. Yeah. You can't wait, see because I got my, oh, wait, I got my, uh, I got my magnifying glass. No, it's, uh, it's not even clear. Wait, I got a magnifying glass, too. Hold up. Where's my magnifying glass? Oh, wait, hold up. I got one. Okay, okay, it says, this Barbie, I can't read it. It says, it's a, wait, let me get my glass. Wait, I, got my, I got my glass on, but I can't oh, read no. it. Oh, no. It says, hold up. Okay, do it's we a, both have magnifying glasses? <laughs> <laughs> you can't read it with your glasses on, Kim. You got to take your glasses off. You're going to go blind. Says, you got to take your glasses off. Come here. No, no, don't don't magnify it, Andy. Leave it where it is. It says it's got to be a nutty, stupid. Nope. What's that say? Nope. Don't be high. What's that Don't get in here. What that say? The Barbie. It's a Barbie. You, nope. you. That would say duh. Don't it say it's a Barbie? It's, nope. it's, 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 you can't read Chris Wright. That's is she right. okay? No, no, no. This is an app that's taken social media by storm. <laughs> Number one. Well, what's it say? Special at the end. It says. Oh my God! How old are you, ma'am? Special. It's a nutty oh, special. <laughs> got a nut. What? What does it say? It's a got a nutty special. Yeah, that's what it says. That is that oh, is got what a I did. Special. Yeah, that's what I said. That's that's what I said about the woman who's on stage. Who said, "All right, we, you've you've suffered enough." So let me explain this. This is. So Barbie, they've announced the Barbie movies coming out. And I think you did this for Sherry show, didn't you, Sherry? Where it says you you make it your own. You put your own picture in, Kim. And then you, it says this Barbie is. And then you customize what it says, right? Yes. Like, okay. So Sherry's says this Barbie is going to get a Netflix special. Oh, I like that you manifested for me. See, now, if we, <laughs> we want to play the game again, <laughs> we have a second Funny Mama. Oh, let, oh, <laughs> oh that ooh, that's what I was thinning. Oh, that was when I was thin, honey. And what does that say? Sherry's like, Sherry's like, that was a month ago. Yeah, that was the NAACP <laughs> image awards. That's... I, I, I started uh -huh. eating right after that. Look at my face. Boy, look I hear you there. Look. Your face got yeah. you so skinny. Kim, I haven't, skinny. I've had one crumb. <laughs> I was on crack. I saw okay. those pictures from the live show when, from St. Louis. I have had one crumb to eat since that. It's that Dale Joy keeps bringing me. What? That's why I said, you know you gain weight when your top stomach is sitting on your bottom stomach. Said, oh, Let me tell you, you, it's something there. about, the, the, you know, when you see yourself on a picture and you like, oh my gosh, you thought you looked so like amazing. I was at the gym this morning, and then Chris, you got to tell me what the Barbie says for Kim. But I was at the gym this <laughs> you morning. You got to guess. And I, I what, and oh, so yeah, tell me what it says before I tell the story. Are you sure? Well, you, Mark, Mark said to don't tell it. Mark said a future. Oh, it says a future SNL host. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, thank you. So this Barbie is a future SNL host, and that's Kim Whitley as Barbie. Okay. Thanks, oh, everybody. So oh, he read Sherry's too. Going to get a Netflix special. So obviously our computers are old and we can't see. Oh, this hilarious. is on my cell phone. I can't read it on my, I, my cell phone is so little right now. But Chris, I understand it's not. Oh, that like, makes sense. It's on your cell phone. I totally forgot. I, th I thought it was on your, your, oh your PC or your, your desktop. I was oh thinking, my God. Hmm. Yeah, this is crazy doing it myself. Cause I gotta, I gotta rewire my office. Uh, I'm gonna be different. But yeah, you know, you see yourself and you're like, ooh, ooh, didn't know that this was happening. Because I was like, I was in the gym this morning and I decided to work out because I thought I was losing weight. Oh, my keyboard is dead. Damn it. I thought I was losing weight. <laughs> Kim, are you there still? I don't, I'm not hearing Kim. I'm right here. I'm listening oh, okay. to Sherry. 
Oh, and I decided to just do a workout in a workout bra, Kim, and shorts. So just a bra and shorts. That's how I did my workout. And I thought everything was like cute. So I'm doing my pull-ups and I got Naima taping me and I'm like, I'm about to post this bad baby. It looked good. Why when I look at the video, oh my gosh. I look like I was having sex tuplets doing the pull-up bar. Wait, wait. First of all, Naima is the girl that works for you? No, she's my trainer. Oh, the she's trainer. the Moroccan okay. lady. She's from Morocco. And she didn't say like, this ain't a good look? Well, I was holding my stomach in. She was taping me. I don't work out and then I don't do it every day. Oh, wait. No, you got to do it at this age. You have to do it. I'm telling you. You told me that. Because... I had a dream about you last night. Oh, what'd you dream? I don't know, but it was fun. Oh, we was having fun. Girl, we was going somewhere. We was doing something when we was out of control. Was, and I can't remember. That's one of them good dreams. And I know I wanted to go back. And I was like, oh, my gosh. I thought about you. I woke up this morning. I was thinking about you. And I was like, oh, Sherry, a mess. Oh, we had so much fun. Like, it was like we was from back in the day doing something wrong. That's not like one of our comedy shows. Yeah, we had a, we was having a good time in my dream. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I, that I, sounds I great. I, yeah, I wish I could remember it. Because uh, we were just having, like, just fun. We was laughing. And oh, my God. We don't talk about that. Can I? Well, I hope you have the dream again so you can tell me about it. It sounds like something that will put a smile on my face. I know. It was good, too. Damn. So thank so, you. We, I uh, uh I like your nails, too. Oh, thank you. I have to go get them now. I'm coming to L.A. You know that, right? Next week. Right. I've got to write that in my calendar. When are you coming to L.A.? So I invited uh, to Raji. Uh, no, 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 Ray. no, 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 Wait, wait a minute. You said I'm coming to LA. You didn't say you're having a party here. I invited Coco, Lili, and Taj from SWV. Um, I invited... Uh, to where? I, to invited, where, Sherry? To where? I told him I'm having a roller skating party at your house. Saturday, Is April that? 15th. It's 8 o'clock. Huh? I'm, I'm, uh, April 15th? I'm going to be gone, ain't I? Yeah, but I'll be there. Why you ain't say this before I took the, the date? Took the date where? Oh, that's May. Wait, April 15th. Wait a minute. Yeah, April 15th when taxes are due. Wait a minute. Did you do your taxes? Not this year. Let's see. April 15th. That's a Saturday. So I've invited a lot of people. I'm going to invite Sheila E. I'm going to invite... No, what uh, you're going to do is come over here and clean up. Now, I got all this tequila you left at that party during the Memorial Day three years ago. Is it still okay. good? There's a bunch of bottles of tequila. Remember you bought, know. Machine? you bought that machine? I yeah. What's I don't know, but it's about 100 people. A margarita machine you had here. Oh, okay, yeah, right, right. Wait, okay. Hold up, hold up. Oh, Jesus, take the wheel. Take the wheel. You didn't invite no 100 people to my house. Well, right. It's at 72. 72 this people. Ain't, this ain't a wedding. What's wrong with you? It's my birthday party, Kim. No, no, no. Uh-uh, uh-uh. There is a limit. You ain't paid me the electric bill from the last birthday party. Do you know, it's so funny. It was so many people from my comedy show that said, did you pay Kim's electric bill? And I was like, Whitley's, no. Whitley's wattage. <laughs> they was like, when you gonna pay it? it? I was, Somebody else gonna... asked me that too. It was like, well, how much was it, Kim? It might have been Sheila E. It might have been. Few, few I'm laughing wanna... so hard, the glue unsnapped on my wig. That's how hard I'm laughing. If you guys would like to cash up Sherry Shepard on uh, cash up no, to pay, to pay Whitley's wattage. No, no, Kim need no, nobody gathering together to pay her electric bill. She's too blessed. She's blessed. She can pay her, her own electric bill. She's she don't struggling. need my money. She don't need followers' money. What I She's need, struggling. Did I have this shirt on last time? Both of them? Okay. What's happening? The, the, the pool man is here. Oh, what? Why, why do you have a different shirt on for the pool man? 
You know you that's how affairs start. You ain't seen my pool, man. <laughs> yeah, you haven't been in L.A. for a minute, Sherry. The pool guys used to be models. <laughs> I haven't. I don't have a pool at this house. I had to flip my house in L.A. Right, right. The dogs are attacking pool. You have a comment from you have a comment from Andre Lavelle in the live chat. Pull your hair forward, Kim. Me? Oh, that little spot right there. Okay. I thought you made baby hair with your eyebrows. I did. I did make baby hair with my eyebrow stuff. I just didn't make it. What enough. happened to it? That Andre's you know telling you to pull it forward. I didn't use the right brow. Oh. You gonna redo your baby hair with the brow? What are you doing? See, that's what you do. Oh, Andre just called. Hold up. See, look, you take oh this gosh. and you put it right here. See that brow? See yeah. that brow? See how you fill it in right there? And it look like you got baby hair. What? Look at that. I'm looking at it on my cell phone. You, a follower of fans, can y'all tell me what it looks like? Because I can't see really well on my cell phone. Does you it look like natural? Don't I look I'm like trying, I got, I'm I'm comment, we'll see. We'll see what the you live chat says. One more time. See, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look yeah, that. it kind of does. See that little shadow well, right there? Ask Andre. Ask Andre, do you need to pull it? You still got to pull it forward? forward? Now it looks, okay, maybe I did too much. Sick in the Head okay. says tutorial part two. Uh, I think dirty. you might have done a little too much. Oh, damn. You made it look like kitchens. <laughs> Shelby says that looks like a bad contour. <laughs> wait a minute. Okay, uh, wait. Everybody's proud of Andre for being a real friend. Vera, sa Vera says, no, ma'am. Kim, stop. Stop, Kim. Don't Heaven do no sense more. Says, stop. But when I swoop it, look, look, look. No, don't do no more, Kim. Antonia that says, that um, that nah. That Kim, everybody's saying no. Everybody's saying stop. Uh -huh. Andre says it looks like dirt. <laughs> oh my gosh. Kim, everybody's saying stop. You gotta stop. Look at that. Look at that. No, look. Look at that baby hair. Oh no. Look at that baby hair right there. Yeah. If you want to know how to make some baby hair out of some powder, look at that. Okay, I, I couldn't do it. I didn't look in the mirror. Let me let me fix it up. Y'all be tripped. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> All right, I need permission uh, while we're live on the air. That seems like a pretty good clip. Kim, you okay with that? Uh... <laughs> yeah, she's okay. definitely okay with it. That's a clip. Uh, looks like an looks like an afro on your forehead. Says rebuke the devil. Uh, yeah, Kim, that don't look like baby hair. It looks kind of like newborn. The hair, you know, the hair that don't be any kind of texture in the middle of your head. No, that's the problem. That's the problem right there. See that line? They fall back. That's the problem. See the line? Antonia's sure. hollering. Makila's laughing. Oh, pull that line. Oh, don't do Kim. that, Kim. Okay. Don't do that, Kim. Don't okay. do it. pull that thing. All right. Hang on. I got one for you. Down, if you pin the wig down and then put the baby hair and then the line don't show, you're good. Thanks for looking out, Andre. Good looking out. Deletha says it, it giving nervous breakdown, Kim. <laughs> Damn, Kim. She said it giving nervous breakdown. That's that's awful. Look like you burnt your head with the straightening comb, says Vera. I am True. stressing major. I need. Where, where are you stressing? Where are my bobby pants? I need some food. I'm hungry. DG says, okay, wipe it off, need, please. Eat something good. I just wanted to. So I'm gonna oh, have a oh, party and hey. come over to your house. Alexa, make an announcement. What's what is she announcement? doing? Dare Joy, uh, can you tell the pool man to put some extra chemicals in the pool because I'm having kids over this weekend? Yeah, tell him, if, see if he can clean it up a little bit. The extra, because the kids going to be swimming in it. But nothing that's going to, like, kill them or burn their skin, but maybe maybe make them sleep. That's an announcement? Like that. that ain't, okay. Uh, Your Alexa will make that whole announcement? Yeah, that's the scary. I, I, oh, damn. Dare Joy, uh, <laughs> Some extra chemicals in the pool because I'm having kids over this weekend. Yeah, tell them to see if you can clean it up a little bit. Because the kids gonna be swimming in it. And nothing that's gonna like kill them or burn their skin, but maybe you can just make them sleep. Or something like that
LAPD. Oh, <laughs> child no, service. Because this I got is the worse. evidence. Oh, this I got worse evidence. than that. They got other stuff that they need to send. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> I just need to send you my guest list. I'm having a person come over there to survey the grounds. We got to get everything together for the my roller skating Whitley on Wheels party on April well, 15th. Well, the truth is I'm about to have the tennis court made into a pickleball court. You are? Yes. Gina Yashray wants me to make it to a pickleball court, and my friends found somebody that can tape it off and, and get me a pickleball net. So we can play pickleball. Okay, well, no, no, I need you to take the net down because we're roller skating. Last time I took the net down, I couldn't get it back up. I had to buy a new net. Okay, all right, so what's the problem? You got a and new I net? in the ground where you fell last time and where Royale had his friend from Chicago doing tricks. Y'all know how y'all got your stompers on your wheels in the front? He did those yes. circles. Guess what? I still got circles on my tennis court from roller <laughs> skating. Mm. You don't even use that tennis court. I don't even know why you, you bought that house. You should have sold off that plot of land. That's the tennis court. You never owned it. All you got on that tennis court is old brooms, Josh was on skateboard and bikes. It looks like a trailer park, that tennis court. That was the you first thing I asked. You got skate circles on that tennis court. I do have a trampoline on the tennis court. Y'all have to go around the Do you trampoline. know how lucky you are that you have a tennis court? That's why all your friends want to use it. That was the first thing I asked when I saw the saw the backyard. I was like, isn't uh, that probably worth like, I don't know, $500,000 if you just sold it as a piece of <laughs> She could sell it and she could build a huge house on that tennis court and sell it, but she don't want to. But then when you say, well, let me have a party on it. Oh my God, I got circles on that for when somebody will skate. Oh my God, I can't get the net. I had to, the net was falling apart. I had to buy a new net. Now I got a new net. I did. Why you sound like Chris Rock? Because <laughs> he was complaining too. Oh gosh! Talk about malls, you know, Sherry. I don't. I mean, I, it is. Time. I don't even want to heat the pool for the kids this weekend. I know that. And so I'm gonna change. need the pool because we're gonna have a pool party too. We're gonna have a pool party, <laughs> roller skating. You're not doing that. You're not doing that. And I'm. A, and we're gonna have a DJ. So I'm gonna have a make a dance floor over by your avocado tree. No, we're not. We're not. We're not doing that. We're not doing yeah, that. Yeah, we are. We are. It's already you, got You've had big. more parties at this house than I've had. <laughs> <laughs> Which shows you, you don't even utilize your house. You put wig heads up in your bathroom window, and that's about it. I took those down because your friends was talking about my wig heads, and I didn't even notice I had wig heads in the window till your little friends came over and started saying something. And I was like, oh, damn, they can not see that. This girl, you look up, you're in the backyard having a great adult conversation. You look up, it's like a horror movie. Dun, 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 and there's a hundred wig heads looking down at you. I never know. I never thought up. about it. Oh my gosh. Oh my it's goodness. only, I, I think it's like only, it's about 70 people that have RSVP. I know I got room for another maybe 25 more. This is going to be the party of all parties. Nisi coming, Jessica coming, Lena said she was coming. I told you I invited S, uh, S, SWV, the girls. They, they want to know. Huh? Oh, I'm moving before then. What date I got? I'm moving. April 15th. I think Major is going to come. The house oh, my is God. April 14th. What's called? Viola. I got sent her. I'm waiting to hear back from her and Cheryl Lee Rouse. Quinta. Um, <laughs> sent to Quinta. So, now Quinta doesn't take up a whole lot of room, so you can invite another person. She don't. She's so yeah, tiny. She's so and I want to change your light so that we have like uh, when I put the tennis court lights on, I want them to kind of be like a like a soft glow, like you know, like I got I a soft glow from last ten of the lights I put up last time for you to all the way around the damn court, and then you said it wasn't bright enough. <laughs> I have those lights. Yeah, then you made me turn on my bigger lights because everybody old in your friend group and they couldn't see. <laughs> I didn't want Garcelle falling. So we, we got we got we got a few people and um it's gonna be good. We're gonna have a good time. So you don't have to be there. We don't have to be there. I just need to be able to people get in and use the bathroom. 
And then the chef's got to oh, no, use your you kitchen. Gotta, no, to cook. no, over 20 people remember my rules. You got to order a porta potty. Ain't nobody coming in my house. What do you mean I got to order a porta potty? How am I going to ask Garcel Bouvet to go to a porta potty? I'm going to ask SWV. Garcel, SWV. Garcel SWV. porta potty right there. I'm going to ask Lily Coco and Taj to go to a porta potty, Kim, really? They, that's, you gonna have to spend a little money and get the the high end porta potty. You don't have to matter. Your bathroom is right on it. Your last friends put too much toilet paper in the toilet, or they did too much in the toilet and they clogged it up and didn't nobody say nothing. Yeah, your friends, your friends eat bad. You ain't got no vegan <laughs> friends. Mm. That was Andre. That wasn't my friends. <laughs> you know, Andre just disappeared. That was not. Oh my goodness, Kim! You complain so much about your house. But Andre's what? pretty good. Andre's pretty. You know, he takes baths and stuff, so he's pretty clean. You know, you ever smell the Andre poop? I don't think yeah. Andre ever poop. <laughs> what's, ha kind of what's, what's happening here? Oh, Andre's pretty. Good Here's the only. Well, look. Here's the deal. You're the only place I can have a party at, and that, they're gonna do the roller skating party, so it's gotta happen. And I've already let people know. They've already RSVP. So just give me the gate code. I will take care of it. Get Latrice to come over and do the do the thing. We're gonna be good. I'm not. Latrice ain't never I had all kind of platters and stuff for Latrice and she never came and got them, but I'm I'm not gonna give her to her now. She don't she ain't gonna get it because they've been here. I had she all forgot this to get stuff. She can use it for this party. We're gonna, it's going to be cool. It's going to be a nice party. Not over 100 people. I'm going to have somebody with a whole barbecue grill cooking just meat. It can't the, be. Um, oh, you had some good people last time. Them brothers that got that restaurant and they had that taco stand, the taco thing. They were good. I don't need a yeah, whole spray. Got, you waste a, you lot do food, a lot of homeless people and you'd be wasting food. No, I don't, Kim. People ate the food. I didn't Did waste they? no food. Remember all that extra food from the live show at the Laugh Factory, Kim? Yeah, that was a lot of food left. <laughs> we had a I lot say, of food. Andre, once once I left LA five days later, I bet Andre ate on that food for uh, another three weeks. It was, it, he was eating a lot of scrambled eggs because we served breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Andre was eating a lot of bacon, uh, scrambled eggs, and grapes. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I'm so happy to be alive. I, what were the comments that we had from the followers about? Oh, from last week. Oh, let me yes. let me pull those up. You geniuses. Let me uh, let me get to that. This is the this is the fun part where the uh, the producer guy attacks listeners. That's always a good uh, show plan, isn't it, ladies? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alienate yeah. the people that tune in. <laughs> oh my All right. gosh! So okay, so he, let's let's revisit this. So do you remember, uh, do you remember last week, uh, Sherry, the yes. Sherry Show TV website debacle? Yes, it wasn't working for people to buy tickets to our shows. Right. Do I have access to the Sherry Show TV website? No, no, you don't. Do I have, does anyone, no, or last week we were all on the podcast, were you all even once blaming me for that or saying I should have taken care of that? Uh, Kim was. No. Absolutely no, not. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sherry, no, 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 not once. Not, okay, be proud of yourself, Sherry. Not once. So I don't understand how we could have a conversation and where you're visibly upset. I get that part. With it. But then, Kim, I was literally trying to comfort her by saying, well, hey, Sherry, that sucks. But right now, in the moment, there are 1,100 people tuned in. And guess what? Old Chris at Midcoast in St. Louis has you covered because they can get to those. That's right. And then we talked through a couple things, a couple technical things that why would you know them anyway that I was probably trying to comfort you by saying. There are a few comments. People really looking to unload in these situations and tell me, you get him, Sherry. Tell him. Here we go. Chris. Your slip is hanging again. It shouldn't be this hard for people to buy tickets. Sherry should blow. Oh. Sherry should blow a gasket. 
Kim's got a pre. I want I, Kim. I want you to hear this. Even on Sherry Shepherd page, isn't that your responsibility to make sure customers can access the link from there as well? You should at least be checking it. Hang on, hang on. And if it's oh. something out of your control, you should be telling Sherry so she can fix it before you even tried to blame her, which is unacceptable. Get it together, <laughs> sir. And Kim, I don't know what she's doing, just throwing out misinformation and agreeing with stuff that's incorrect. She looks high today. I wouldn't be able to work with her. Love her to death, but she would be a no as far as business. She's too all over the place and doesn't take things serious enough until it's really about her that she's acting a fool. As a customer, I've left many a site because things were too complicated. On the other hand, I have indulged and overspent because things were really accessible, e.g. Amazon. Click, open your door, and your stuff is there. Y'all do better, period. I'm sure you've already lost some money over this. That should be enough to get some heads rolling. That is from Nisi Baby 1960. I left a long but polite message, and boy, you ever do that? You ever do the type out and delete method where you you want what you want to say to somebody? There were like twelve type out and deletes in this. Instead, how long was that message? Was it thick? Was it an email? I mean, that's a comment on a YouTube. That was a comment. You know, and I've seen Nisi Baby 1960. We're sorry that we, <laughs> first of all, we're no, no, but sorry for the, 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 the just snafu. But I did want to let you know, Chris has no control over the Sherry Show TV website. That's all Sherry Show TV, social uh, media, digital team. So even if Chris wanted to try to help, he would not be able to. He's not able to access it. So that's not on him. And I right. was really angry. But I wasn't mad at Chris. I was Absolutely. I was and I didn't take it that way. Yeah, at all. I was mad at my team because right. they know that Ken and I have been busting our butt trying to promote you really, our comedy show. It. Yeah, you've been not, yeah. Oh, that was, and I just, so, I find it funny when people like immediately look for someone to be like, get his ass. <laughs> I'm like, well, that, this that is just, some latent just, stuff, man. It comes with the territory, and y'all don't want y'all thinking Chris messed up because that wasn't even his fault. Um, that so, but we're sorry if you walked away with the taste in your mouth. And I, for Kim, you know, the person who said that Kim look high and in business, that's a no. You were right on that one. I can't say nothing about that. I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to. Uh, Wait, to no, 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 no. You're not gonna sit there and say I was high during the podcast. I don't. She do said it you the looked podcast. high. She said you looked because high. Because I didn't have no lashes on. Oh, you look high with no lashes? Yeah, because look, I don't look <laughs> right. They used to my glamorous self. I'm sorry that needs 1943. Uh, I don't, you know. And my bad. To, be, to be fair. And I'm just kidding. And to be fair, there were about 50 nice comments being like sherry don't worry chris has you covered and some really nice comments too so i do want to acknowledge that because everybody's guilty of always going right to the negative um but i just thought that was so funny i was like man somebody that looked like me really upset this person at some point in their life <laughs> and she's been waiting laying in wait to get uh, to to get that going so yeah, i just was it was just because she unfocused and all over the place you be the first one running to me. You one of them fans that talk about me behind my back. But as soon as I meet you, you're going to be like, Kim, I'm your number one fan. Right. Nisi, see you. <laughs> well, we are, we appreciate you watching and thank you. And That's we what I said that too. Yeah. And we, yeah, we, we always can work on um, getting better. Yeah, getting definitely. Better. I just we perceptions, not, but we can we don't work on it. <laughs> perceptions a funny thing though. I came out of that being like, oh, that sucks about the web page, and then I just saw a few comments of people being like, Chris was up in their attitude. All that I was like, man, that's I don't understand that. But yeah, we're, we're 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 very sorry. We we try to have it together. Kim is not no Kim. That was Kim. Her mother. Um, when she was a baby, she was in the car seat, and her mother put on the edge of the table. And the car seat fell off the table, and Kim, me? Kim fell on her head yeah, in the car seat. Too. And her mother they, even when, told you that in privacy, so you just gonna <laughs> tell the world. 
It was that it was that Lincoln yeah. with the wood uh, the wood grain, so the the dent on the head was a little. Yeah. It was, and, and I, but they need to know when people want to know why you um, focusing all over the place. It, it starts back when that car seat fell, and here's the thing: her mama, uh, bless her soul, God rest her soul, she picked up her lovely baby, this cute little baby. It, was, it mm -hmm. went, wah, wah, wah. wasn't and that? She little. put her back on the table and left the room <laughs> like she did. <laughs> I don't think she picked Kim up out the car seat and comfort her. She picked the she picked the car seat up with Kim. The head hit the floor, the whole, the and she, she put it back. She the whole thing up, put it back on the table. She, be she put it back on the table, walked out the room. <laughs> and so I believe that's where all of the ADD started. That fateful day, Kim was eighteen months old <laughs> in the car seat. And a mother and you know, put it back on the table. No yeah, it was kind of like a rope, a rope with a big piece of metal, wasn't it? Oh, okay. That thing. Okay. Christian went too far. <laughs> I said Christian went too far. <laughs> Do you, did you have those? I'm picturing, so my great grandma had a, a Lincoln with these, if you got in the back, because I guess it had leather. If you sat down in the back, you would burn your thigh because those buckles were so big. Do you ever, do you guys ever, I feel we like it never, used to be worse. We, when I was growing up, we never wore our seatbelts. You remember we was climbing all in the car and in the bag, we had a station wagon. My mother had a baby, my youngest sister, and drove home with the baby in her lap with no seatbelt. Like we was all over the place. Yeah, so my, my, my I, I never even remember wearing the seatbelt, which we have to do now. My version, uh -huh. my version of that is riding in the back of trucks on roads. <laughs> growing up in a, in the country, growing up in the country, that's just what we did. Uh, Want to say before we sign off um, that we're gonna go to SherryShowDTV.com because Kim and I are back on the road. May nineteenth, we're in New Brunswick, New Jersey. May twentieth, we are in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. May 21st, we are in Wilmington, Delaware. Kim, um, Mother's Day weekend is in Las Vegas at the Jimmy Kimmel uh, Comedy Club. You can go to Jimmy Kimmel, I think, uh, look up Jimmy Kimmel Comedy Club, and then you can buy tickets for Kim's show. Two shows on Friday, two shows on Saturday. Um, May 4th, Kim and I at, are at the City Winery in New York at Chelsea Piers. Um, April 28th and April 29th, I am in Chicago at Riddles Comedy Club. And you can go to Riddles. Uh, me. You can go to Riddles uh, webpage or that Sherry Show TV link. Right when you go to Sherry Show TV, there's a giant flyer. Oh, you Is can tell. I had. I, I oh, had a fit. You had a fit. And Kim's show, Actor Age, is on Bounce TV on the uh, Brown Sugar app or Ion. TV. Now, Sherry, how were you saying that people watch the Act Your Age? Well, you can go to the Brown Sugar app. You can you can. Uh, no, you were talking about like a like um. An antenna. You need to get like antenna. A antenna, or antenna. Something. If you can't get in any of those, you can go to Best Buy and grab a, a, a digital antenna. It'll give you twenty stations, and included in those twenty stations would be Act Your Age. So go thought, watch it. It's a modern know, day. TV is like number channel one or something where the news comes on. Hmm. It's different in different states. Look at that. That is Tisha Campbell, Yvette Nicole Brown, and starring Kim Whitley. It is a modern day uh, little chocolate uh, Golden Girls, a little spicy. Girls. It and, was funny uh, this week. Oh my God, this weekend. Valerie Pinto I got it on DVR. Cutting the fold. Okay, yeah, I'm going to watch it. Lisa, it's on DVR. Lisa you loves your show, Kim. Oh, real cool. DG loves the show. Wanda. I ice cream. I'm not eating ice cream. What if people what want it? to know what you're eating? I am eating. This is a mango smoothie. But since I had dinner work, when you have dinner work, you're not supposed to suck through a straw. Right. So you just need something cold. Well, you know, you're not supposed to be chewing on anything. They told me don't chew on anything hard. So I had to put that rib down. Um, oh, my God. You was eating ribs after dinner work? 
Are you crazy? <laughs> Nothing makes her hungrier than dental work. She has to go straight to the barbecue joint right you, after. You're, you're crazy. Oh, I did it. So Joshua is, is eating because Joshua has to stay on soft food for two days. Can I can I send so Chris a video? Everything. Yeah, send me whatever you got. We've got comments to get to. We can hang out for a little longer before we read the comments. Uh, comments. Uh, oh, here we go. How about a nice comment? We like nice people. Carmen Westby. Hey, ladies. I've been watching since day one and still watching no matter what day it comes on. Blessings. Thank you, Carmen. That's very nice. Cheryl. Awesome. Cheryl, watch it. Uh, you know we can't see you, Sherry. I don't know if that's on purpose. Uh, yeah, that's because I'm I'm sending you something. Gotcha. Um. Did you see your phone, Andy? Uh, Cheryl, I watch it on Bounce TV. The show is very good. I saw the first two on Bounce. I've got the others uh, recorded to watch and catch up <laughs> as Kim pops away. Latanya, hi, Sherry and Kim. I have a commercial interview. Any suggestions on how to inflect my voice? Sherry, Kim, Kim, you were the queen of commercials. Yeah. Sherry went black. I Because I'm sending something. And I doubt she'll ever come back. Kim, I'm right here. Advice? Well, give the advice. Kim, voice inflection for commercials. Any advice? Oh, you, well, commercials, what you have to do is watch commercials to know how to do commercials because things change. You know, you got to see what they're doing today. You know, how are they talking? Like a lot of people, you know, have the, yes, I use Crest white strips. You know, the voice is so high. And then you have, uh, the Lena Waithe commercials, everyone thought it was me, AT&T, you know, it's down there, you know? So uh, I think commercials, so, you got to watch them to know how to do them. So Kim, your advice, just summing it up, would be mimic other successful campaigns. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm not even being, I'm serious. It pretty much is. I mean, if that's what the people want, you got to know what these advertisers want and what they like. Because how I got into commercials was, I started watching commercials and I saw all the black girls had curly hair. So I went and got curly hair. And that's when y'all saw that commercial I showed y'all last week. Wanna taste you can't turn back, try new Pringles, double stack. Ah! Even though I wasn't singing it though. That was not me still. I found out it was Don Lewis. Um I've got <laughs> Sherry, I got the uh I got your oh, text. Shoot. He was gonna take his medicine. Oh Lord, what time is it? Oh no. Oh, my God. Oh yeah, he got to take his uh, antibiotic. Lord Jesus, I need an alarm. Um, oh, no, not unless he's in pain. Hey, antibiotic while I'm, <laughs> how about some <laughs> some comments while I get these pictures going? Uh, hey y'all, we back. Oh Read God. the comments, Cam. Hi, hi, ladies. Love your podcast. Really want to watch Act Your Age, but can't find it in Canada. Any idea how I can get access to watch it? It's from oh, Macy. In Canada. Go to bouncetv.com. Mm -hmm. You can and say find us, or you can get the Brown Sugar app, and you can watch it anytime. It's free for the first week, um, and then uh, excuse me, four dollars a month or something like that. Okay. But I yeah, I would, I would, I would get the Brown Sugar app and stream all the episodes you can, then cancel it. Well, I, nope. Can I say that? Nope. Oh. Oh. You said what you said. <laughs> All right, so we're getting these. Um, in the meantime, Sherry, can you? I have a thing from Variety, Andy. If you see that, can you tell us about this, yes. Sherry? While I we was, get these others, this is me. Variety magazine named me one of their Power of Women 2023. Um, what does that mean, Power of Women? Why not just Powerful Woman? I don't What's know. Power they, of that's woman? what they call. That's what they called it. I didn't ask them why they said it. When they give me the the honor, I said thank you. That's the person when you, you just don't not grateful. I said thank okay. you. Okay, all right. You didn't want to know what what it meant. Why? No, no. Okay, so I knew I know what power of a woman is because it's not it's not. It's, it is that it's of a woman. It's the power of woman, of women. Power of women, twenty twenty three. Because it's not a powerful woman. It's a u unified collective power of women. Okay. All right. I hear you. Okay. All why you right. sound like my auntie? All right, then. If you want to say it, all right. You calm down. Congratulations. I said thank you. Okay. 
Uh, well, they, they, I was one of the, uh, I was one of the honorees, and I, they took a picture of me on the red carpet. I don't know if you have that. Um, yeah, hang on, so I've got in your, uh, with, with that you're holding the purse. Yes. Okay, we're getting it. The, we're getting that uploaded right now. I was, I was too busy ogling the other photos you sent me. Sorry. I Jeez. don't literally. I, I'm not comfortable on red carpet. You can always tell. I don't like doing red carpet stuff but i have to in the job that i have i gotta do these red carpets and um it's incredible because everybody's screaming they're they're going turn this way turn that way you're trying to hold your stomach in you you don't know which way to stand you gotta put your leg you, a certain way yeah it's a mess you know it's some people that have perfected red carpet the se you know j-lo got that sexy smoldering you know she she does her eyes like where you can't even really see them She'll and then she just pouts her lip you know, and I feel like when I do that kind of stuff, I feel so silly that it makes me laugh when I try to do the sexy you know smolder. Shirley Ralph tried to show me how to stand on the red carpet while we was on the red carpet. It was an embarrassing moment. Okay, are you serious why you were on the red carpet? Yeah. Do you know how bad you had to be for Shirley Ralph to take the time to show you how to stand on a red carpet, on a red carpet? I ain't that bad. <laughs> Oh my God. There's oh my a photo God. that's hilarious, by the way. There's a just I'm telling Andy, our engineer here. Uh, there's a photo of Sherry at a red carpet with a purse. Show that first, and then there's a video. Get that video ready. But there's a bunch of photos of uh, Sherry being modest. Uh, that will yeah, show. I said, well, this and, is and a photo of me. On Kim's the gonna carpet. love those. For variety, Kim, I, I started. I, you know, I've been working out. I've been going to the gym four times a week. And really trying to, because my birthday is uh, my birthday is in two weeks, and I really have been trying to like get my health together. Like at this age, you know, I said this on the show. When you're in your twenties, you lose weight because you want to look good. You know, in the bikini, you are going on a girls' trip. Now at this age, I want to lose weight because I want to live. I want my health. I want to feel good. And working out and eating right is is part of that. And so I've really been focused on working out and lifting weights because it builds muscle mass. Because as we get older, Kim, yeah, this is what I've been getting on you about. We lose our muscle mass. That's when our bones become brittle. Well. Yeah, What's you that? know, and I keep telling work out with weights. So that's me on the red carpet at the variety. Um, yeah, I didn't know that was you. Carpet. That's me uh, on the red carpet. Well, you know Come, I'm to wash your legs. You cross your leg, but I, John was nowhere around because I wanted John to hold my purse, and he was talking to somebody, so I had to hold my purse, and I didn't know where to put it. But it was very cool being at the red carpet. Judy Bloom got honored. Rosie Perez, um, uh, Natasha Leone from Wait, Russian is this, Dolls. Is this the power of women, twenty twenty three. Yes, those were the ones that actually got honored. Oh. And uh, uh, Michaela. Like a Why do you dress all conservative like a businesswoman? But the dress was short. Woman. The dress was very short with the heels. Like I had on like really high clunky heels. So it was kind of conservative, kind of like short. And, and what was, was your choice, which is interesting, to wear the jacket over your shoulders? Because Willie the, the third, Willie Sinclair the third, mm -hmm. uh, our stylist wanted it to be a different look. He said, people are used to seeing you in a certain look. I want you to, I want you to level up and be, a, have a different look. So it was, this was a brunch in, in I'm almost at Beverly Hills, but this was a brunch in, in New York. So it was at 10, 11 o'clock. So it was all, business. Back, you're not gonna just go over that word. I'm gonna use it. I like it, it's a new word. I want everyone to note that Sherry Shepard has created a new word, a brunch. What? A brunch in. What did I, a brunch in? That's not a word. Oh. No, it's not, but I like it. It's a brunch luncheon. I didn't even pause. <laughs> did she really just make that up? I, I've never heard that. Of course she did. Let's mark that oh, down because wow. we're going to use it. A bruncheon. We've got a, a shepherdism. A shepherdism. I thought it was a word. Uh, I've, wow. Have you ever heard it before? Let us know in the live chat. Have you heard of a bruncheon? I think I think I have, but am I just thinking yeah, of luncheon? I know I'm brunch. just thinking of lunch. I know yeah, brunch. luncheon. But a bruncheon is different because now you're, it's a brunch luncheon. We know what a luncheon is. We know what a brunch is. A brunch is. luncheon. But yeah, a it was more, a brunch luncheon. A, a, it was a, a brunch. A, brunch, a, brunch, a bruncheon. With the lunch, a brunch is a breakfast lunch, but then if you have a bruncheon, 
It's more of a lunch and lunch. That don't make no sense. Okay, what? No, because you have a luncheon. But a brunch, we know what a brunch is. We know what a luncheon is. But a brunching, that's a whole nother world. Go ahead, Sherry <laughs> Shepard. I'm writing that down. A brunching. That's a that's a, you, a little Sherry Shepard. That's I'm, what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have an all day brunching at your house, and then at night no, it's not. gonna be no, you're not a brunching at, at your place. I, that's I mean, what I'm gonna. That's so. That's a shepherdism. That. I love it. Nice stuff. Put it in. So there was a Judy Bloom was honored who wrote all of the books. Uh, it's God. Uh, oh, hi, God. God it's me, old, Margaret. How old uh, was she? Oh gosh, she was young. But that I what I learned from Judy Bloom is they pulled all of her books from the shelves of the libraries in school because she used to talk about teenage girls going through puberty. I did not know that. And she yeah, said she I was. I didn't know they pulled it, but that's why we read them in school because it taught us stuff that our parents wouldn't teach us. Exactly. Remember, we must, we must, we must increase our bus. Um, and so she said she was so scared because she was all alone. Like she didn't have any help. And so she um, said, and now we're back in the, in like now because uh, Ron DeSantis, the governor, is making all these laws where it's like, Girls can't even read about going through puberty and the their period in schools. He's got a law that he's trying to pass in Florida. So she was like, we're back in the 80s on steroids with people taking away our freedoms with readings. The dog is stealing focus. <laughs> there, there was literally not a more serious part of the podcast and she pulls a, pup, a puppy out. And she pulled the damn dog up there. I'm talking so wait, about law that needs to be. I'm not saying Lord, nothing. This is what Nisi was talking about. Go ahead. Now, she, hang on. We've Judy got Judy Bloom or Nisi. Nisi, uh, 1960, was saying that. That I'm not Judy serious. Blue. Oh my God. No, they honor Kelly Ripa too. And Kelly Ripa, do you know for the first two seasons of Kelly and Regis, they did not give her a dressing room, Kim? Who didn't give who? She talked about the sexism on on Kelly and Regis. They would not give her. She came off a successful run from All My Children. The first two seasons, they would not give Kelly Ripa a dressing room. She took the janitor's closet. They would not. And they had an empty dressing room. Uh They had an empty dressing room. And they said, but it's not for you. It's for the permanent person who comes. And she said, but I am the permanent person. Couldn't get a dressing room. So she talked a lot about, she said she wanted to take me to lunch to give me her experience. Oh, I want to know. I'm going to take her up on that. Because I need all the help I can get. And so now I wanted to tell you, I've been been working out at the gym trying to get it together, trying to, uh, that's me, uh, working out at the gym. Your vagina is huge. Oh my God. Okay. Did, did she really say, did she say that? Did she I'm say that? I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I was, yes, it was did. a shadow. It was a shadow on the picture. Do you need to I'm go back and I'm getting my life. I'm talking about getting my life and you scream, your vagina is big. I, I, that was an accident. I apologize. It was the sugar I think I just had. Um look at you. You are oh fit. God. That working out at five in the morning is doing you some good. You look young. What? What you happened? Uh, no, no go, go back, Andy, please. What? Who? No, go. Uh, yeah, there. Who hit that that tiger on the head with a shovel? What happened to that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that tiger's mom you and dad. And were, mom and dad so were. Okay. Wait, listen, listen, <laughs> that tiger's Jerry. mom and dad were brother and I'm sister. Bad. How bad does your body have to be where a man says, look at the tiger? What First the off, hell? That's a platonic relationship. I'm proud of Sherry for making yourself healthier and oh, looking no, like a model. He say, wow, look at the tiger's head. Both of y'all, you <laughs> and Chris give me, you, you and Chris so give me that, both of you. Let me see the next picture. <laughs> How's that tiger roar? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Y'all, oh, y'all you got a booty. Both of y'all. When did you get a booty? It's a lot. I'm squatting. I do a lot of squats. I do a lot of sumo squats and I, I put the 180 pounds on my shoulders. 
and I squat. I'm always doing squats. And you which, don't tell me doing that and it made your butt round like that for real. Yeah, Kim, you know I don't have a butt. That's what no, squatting you, did. You've always had a butt. I'll send a picture right back to you and show you your butt. I don't. Girl. Oh. Well, this is so, this was working out and I've been, I've been really trying to, consistency is everything. Like you can't keep quitting. You just got to go no matter. Sometimes I get there and I only have 30 minutes or 20 minutes to work out. And she says, that's still, let's do it. Like just going, just, you know, being consistent and like showing I up. A private, I, I need a private spot like that. Oh, that looks hard. What's that for about your arms? That's for my arms and my obliques, so the side of my body. So that's a deadlifting Ooh. right there. And that also, you see how I got my butt? That also creates a muscle in your butt because you're pushing your butt out and you're taking the weight as you lift up. So that's what I do in the mornings and um, four times. And so it's just showing up and doing it. So that's, I got 180 pounds. That's 180 pounds that I'm lifting right there Ain't no way. and then right there i don't know how much i was pulling but that's for the arms but i decided yeah, to do I it difference from when you started too yeah when i started i couldn't even do any of right. that and so you know i said i naima and look at this oh boy <laughs> wait 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 a minute no, that's... what is that for i need that right there what is that oh for my underneath God. you is Those this the same trainer? Did is is this the same trainer Yamanika introduced you to? Yes, yes. Why, why do you have? <laughs> why do you have the bells between your legs? The dumbbells or balls or whatever? Oh, that actually, I usually do it with one kettlebell, but I decided to do it. No, with no, two no, because I thought no. it was very kettle, funny. Kettlebell, kettlebell, kettlebells, <laughs> kettlebells. <laughs> Sorry, what I thought that was really do? funny. What does it do? It it helps your it, it helps your back, but the squats are also for your booty I need and your thighs and your legs. I, huh? between, I need something to help my bladder. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> Would you all like some comments? There's a few. <laughs> I love you so much. Oh my gosh! What are the comments? I just wanted to say you real. <laughs> oh my god. My head is hurting so bad. I I'm still proud of you for just owning the uh, the Freudian kettleball slip. My God, mm. Freudian slip. Okay, uh, that's another shepherdism. Kettleballs. We got kettleballs. Yeah, kettleballs. Uh, okay. And kettleballs. Empower you, okay. Wilson Tero says huge balls. Lady Bags Johnson. Oh my. Uh, Petty Boop says what the Kiana's laughing. Uh, Quincy. Our man Quincy here in St. Louis. This is going to be on Thirst Trapping with the Stars on Dish Nation. <laughs> <laughs> MM says M Boom goes the dynamite. Uh, Sherry is solid. That's from Thomas Bristow. Uh, Andre solid. Lavelle, you ever heard of him? He says, <laughs> Sherry, you've always had a butt. It's square, but you've always had one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Andre. Rebuke the devil it's, says big old booty. My vagina is big, okay. my butt is square, and what is that tiger doing up there? Wait a minute, what is wrong with y'all? Did Andre say your butt was square? Here you go. Yeah. One more time. Sherry, this is from Andre. You've always had a butt. It's square, but you've always had one. Oh, damn. You're right. We've been disrespectful. Now we've been disrespectful. You too, Chris. Everybody, what? all three of us have been. What did I do? You said, look at the tiger. That's what you're saying. Well, I mean, if you saw it, I mean, come on, that tiger's no, not, it's not taking before. anything down. <laughs> Have y'all seen it? Has anybody seen Are you looking my for your mind? I'm looking for my mind and my self-esteem. It seems to be lost. Somewhere. Hang on, wait. I found it. I found it. Kathy Lafer says, it to me. I, I found it. Kathy says, Sherry, you have nice legs. Okay. That's it? You couldn't find a better one, huh? Okay. Um, Sherry, <laughs> uh, no, there's a yeah, bunch. But... Uh, Sherry got that body yachty. Uh, <laughs> everybody's very impressed, as we are too. Sherry's killing yeah, it. That's you, amazing. Let me tell you one thing. I got, I got the thickest skin oh. ever, like the tiger you saw. I got a top. good one. 
I gotta go. <laughs> Focus. Yeah. Look at that. Tell me. Okay. A- after you drink in the lovely, beautiful Sherry Shepard, who's busting her ass, looking amazing. Look at Blessed the tiger. <laughs> Looking right in the mouth. If that came at you in the jungle, you'd be like, get get out of here. <laughs> the man that owns that he um he he that's his entire loft, the entire floor, uh in Soho, which is a very uh expensive area in New York. And he creates, makes leather for like all of the leather stores, all of the any leather product, they go to this man wow. to provide the leather. Why that tiger? He got heads of animals everywhere. I, <laughs> I don't even can explain. It's been there. <laughs> there are animals all over the gym. Oh, he owns. Okay. He's he's really really rich. Here and, I got uh, I got another comment. He hunts. Oh, okay, he must have blasted the face off that tiger, and they had to reconstruct <laughs> it. Uh, MM says, "Clean up on aisle me." <laughs> I like that one. Clean up on aisle me. Yeah, that's right. Anna Rosa says body goals. Jokes. Anna Rosa says body goals. I just want to say with that, even though Kim said my vagina looked big, I just want to say did not. If if you just that's what Kim said. If you uh just work on being consistent. Like what my goal has been since I started working out, because I'm one, I will make excuses. Remember when Andre was training us? I was telling Andre, I broke my ankle, Andre. 10 minutes before you supposed to get here. I don't know. And he said, so you broke your ankle, right? I'm pulling up and I go, well, don't come in the house because my ankle's broken. Can't work out today, but I'll do it next week. <laughs> like I would give every excuse not to work out. And this time I said, you know what, Sherry? What would it feel like if you treat your body with love and respect. And so I made sure I got my clothes ready before I went to the gym. You know, I got them ready the night before. I set my clock and I said, I'm not gonna press the snooze button. As soon as that alarm goes off, I'm gonna get up and start getting ready. It takes 30 minutes to get to my gym. Sometimes I take the train. Most time I take a Uber, but like, I, even if I'm late, I still show up, I go. And I, you know, and sometimes I'm just tired, but the re- I see results because I keep showing up. I'm doing that tomorrow. Sherry. I'm starting tomorrow. That is I'm no joke. And in the Ooh, grand, scheme of, grand scheme of things, what have you been working out? Six months? If? No, not six months. No, because six months I've only been on the air. I started working out maybe in... Um, Oh man, maybe maybe January. That's I even think. better. That's even that that is I think congratulations because that is some serious uh, results. It's there. hard. Like one time, my my back went out and I wasn't able to go. But um, oh, yeah, sure did. Yeah, my remember my back was hurt so bad and I I wasn't going and I could feel the not going. And so as soon as my back was okay, I went. Also, like, I just keep that schedule. I get up at 4.45 and I get to the gym. Uh, I leave at 5.30 in the morning to get to the gym by 6. And I went the wrong day. Friday, Kim, I went and I was there. She was like, we don't, we're working. Yeah, she said, we're working out tomorrow. I I had come all the way to to the village. And I went home and I walked, I walked for two miles. Because I said, I want to get some kind of exercise in. But I feel better. I did three shows today, and I felt better. I had that's, energy. That's my question. Are you helps. sleeping? Are you sleeping better? I sleep like I don't even wake up. And when I wake up in the morning, I drink sixteen ounces. So I drink one and a half of these uh, of water because it flushes out the toxins. It right as soon as I wake up, it it makes you uh, wake up. Water when you drink that much water, you got to go to the bathroom, but it just, you, you know, it just sets your day. So I drink, I've been drinking a lot of water. I got some greens down there and salmon. I had a salad. So I've been intentional about my nutrition and the working out. So I'm trying. That was the first time I really got vulnerable to, for my friend to tell me I got a big vagina. Because it's the first time I ever wore a workout bra and shorts. Pop those pictures back up. Let's let's drink so those in one more time. My one friend time. tells me my vagina is big. The second one tells me my boot square. And the third one is like, I'm just looking at that tiger. Is this face messed up? I'm trying to 
<laughs> I'm trying what to stay on the good side friend. of Two Funny Mamas HR. Will they let you look at, down? Sherry, look at this. Imagine if you were just scrolling, Sherry. This is the best part when you do things like this, when you pull yourself yeah. away. If you were just scrolling Instagram, Sherry, and you saw, you know, Sherry Smith, woman from Chicago, that's just looking like that, wouldn't you be like, look at that lady. She looks incredible. Yeah. Well, that lady's trying. I'm I'm working really hard. It ain't easy. It ain't your shoes, easy. Your shoes Kim. ain't matching your outfit, but huh? And that's my that's my other friend. I'm vagina big and my shoes don't match. <laughs> Hang on, wait. Let me let me let me I bring lost it back. My self esteem again. Where it go? Where my self esteem at? Oh, oh, there it go. There it go. Let me let me see if I. I'm trying to get it with my toe. My big toe. I'm trying to get it myself seen. Okay. My foot. What I'm laughing at is this TMZ. That's what I'm over here laughing at. What's wrong? With What's you? TMZ? You. I, what do you? Just tell us. You it. can't see it. What is it? Oh God. <laughs> you always fall <laughs> some damn. It. Oh, it said. What you happened? Check well, check your text. I won't show the world. I mean, oh, they asked me about Jill Biden. I was mad. Yeah. Let me tell you some. L okay, you got to help me with this, Chris. But LSU won the NCAA championship. Yep. Yes. Angel Reese. Uh, two things, Chris, I was so angry about. Go on. Angel Reese won now LSU. The, Caitlin Clark is my second cousin. Are you serious? The player from Iowa? Yeah. You didn't know that? No, because you never told us. I, it's because it's not true. <laughs> I, just to, I like, like that you believe that the one white player. <laughs> I'm like, and then and then you still told your mama she couldn't get on stage. Okay, That's fair. Wow. That's fair. Okay. So, All right. Let's break. LSU, put me up on screen to break this down. Let's let's see about this, Andy. Okay. okay. What do we got? So LSU. This is why I'm on TMZ. LSU was playing the NCAA. They were playing against. Uh, that was Angel Reese and her team played against Caitlin Brown. What is the name of Caitlin Brown's team? Uh, she's with the Iowa Hawk Iowa Hawkeyes. With the Iowa Hawkeyes. Now the winner of these championships, Super Bowl, uh, in NBA, everything. The women's NCAA the, title. Yeah. NCAA title. The winner of all of these athletic sports is always invited to the White House. Not the loser, but the winner. So Jill Biden is sitting there watching the game. She tweets out. Uh, that she's in, that the, that everybody played at such a level. She says now LSU was invited. They've won the game. They like won the title like game. A, they won the title game like a hundred to eighty five. They one hundred two eighty five. One hundred two to eighty five. The, the Hawkeyes swept it. Then she says, "Oh my gosh, the Hawkeyes played at such a level. Their professionalism was so great. I'm gonna ask Joe to invite them to the White House too." What? Iowa's a swing you, state, isn't it? Exactly. There we go. You <laughs> never <laughs> invite the like loser to the White House. Hmm? No, no, no. No, Kim. Sorry, you got to look beyond stuff. Iowa is a swing state. She needs, they need them, Iowa, to vote for Joe Biden in these primaries. It's an agenda. Her saying, let's invite the Iowa well, what's is going wrong to. With that? What's wrong so, with that? We Democrats, we I'll, understand the game. No, no, Kim. Sherry, do you want hey. to break it down? You want me to throw an opinion? Oh, you Kim, break it down, on. Chris. Oh, no. no. I, like hearing, down, I like hearing where you're coming from because you're more of a, you, you don't dive into sports super deep, so you're seeing this at a different level. I find that to be way more interesting than anybody who pays attention to sports because this. So this is magnified. Kim, did you pay attention to this at all? Yeah, I have paid a little bit. So Caitlin Clark... So just to back up, she's the she's star. A, she's a badass. I'm going to say yeah. that about Caitlin. Star for Iowa, right? Just breaking records yeah. left and right. And they took out Dawn Staley's South Carolina team that was undefeated and heading towards it. They were just steamrolling everybody. They beat them. So Caitlin Clark's been this this wild story. LSU, uh, Angel Reese is incredible. Uh, but then Kim Mulkey, their coach, is she's crazy. She's like a trumper with these crazy jackets that's the coach of the Southern team. That's a weird thing too. Whatever. So it gets to it. Then the controversy. Here's where, here's where it got nasty, Sherry. The controversy is, uh, 
a lot of people online started in on Angel Reese because she did the, okay, so you know this, your son's into wrestling. John Cena, she did, you can't see me, you can't see me, and then she pointed to her finger with a ring. It was it was back. Before. I played basketball for twelve years. That's a very light thing that happens, right? This yeah. is on a national stage. Emotions are super high, and these are twenty and twenty one year olds that are competing at a level of athletics that no that point oh one percent of the population will ever have the joy of doing. Long story short, a lot of backlash calling her classless. They start dropping thug out there, like you see that. Now I would say idiots are doing that, but then <laughs> when you have a Jill Biden come out and do something like she could say, you know, it was such a great performance. Caitlin Clark was for the ages, you know, after LSU stops by, we sure would love to talk to Caitlin something, but I will say she really stepped in it. Nobody invites the loser. You don't invite, the, you know, the Kim Buffalo bill, the Buffalo friend, bills friend, didn't get to hang out with George Bush. Want to be nice, you know, Kim, you don't nice follow person. sports enough. This is what do you are one of the same people who called Angel Reese, I'm not saying you did it, but the same people like Chris said who called Angel Reese a thug, an effing idiot, they, no, they're not- No, but they, I, don't, I wouldn't think that. I was thinking as the, pre the wife of a president, you're like, uh, you know what, let's just invite both teams, let's change it up. That's what I was thinking. No, you don't do that. For, from the history of the White House inviting, you only invite the winner. You don't do this, everybody wins. Oh my God, history, every, that's why you have history, competitive sports. The White House ain't never had a black president, so we don't have to follow history. We just do no, what we him. do. Even the, the black president, president did not invite two teams. You got, this is why we have competitive sports. There is a winner and there is a loser. Why are we, you, you, this is one of the perks of you winning. You know why? Because these soccer moms started giving these little uh, uh, medals away to kids that even just try a little bit. It ain't no more winners and losers. Everybody gets a medal. That's who started this. Well, that's the problem with our country. Everybody should not get a medal for trying. There's a winner, you know, and it's just like, yeah, we're going to give you a special little something. Maybe third, that's why in the Olympics you get a gold, you get a silver, and you get a bronze. We ain't giving a medal to the 2013 just because you made it to the Olympics. You didn't win. You didn't get to the level that the people got to. You don't get a medal. You don't get to go to the White House. And so her say it was an insult to the winning team that played so hard. So that was my one, I was really- But hard to go to the White House. They and didn't. also Kim, you're coming from a place where she's trying to be nice. There was an agenda here. Iowa is a swing state, which means that it could swing this way or it could swing that way. And she wanted it to swing for her husband. So by saying, bring the Hawkeyes here, that is a goodwill towards Iowa. It's like, no. If we need but, Iowa, we need Iowa. Look at the big picture, Sherry. Kim's we going at it like a, a CEO. <laughs> we need no, Iowa. What we need, what we need is your husband to wake up and do some stuff. Is what we need. We need that too. But we, if, while I'm sitting here at this game, let me get this Iowa team on over here. <laughs> Gotta do and let me tell you something. It. Let me, if let me tell you what's up. Sales for Two Funny Mama Show. I'm gonna be over there inviting the wrong person. No, you're not. We Did, don't. Didn't you, didn't you see Kim trying to stop by the conservative station while she was here, whenever we were promoting the show? I, I was sure like, Kim, get back here. Sure did. I would say this. I'll say that just to wrap it up. She I know exact. Here's what I think. This is what I think deep down. Here's what I think she did. She wasn't thinking. And here's what I think. I think in her head, she was taking a super left approach and saying, women together, women when in reality, what you did was there was an amplified situation of something that Caitlin Clark even said, who gives a shit? We're talking shit. We're playing basketball. And yes. Caitlin Clark, different situations, but did the same stupid John Cena thing, which yeah. is ridiculous. But the reality is she stepped on it when it was a heightened, very racially charged moment and made it look like, well, you won the title, but this white chick's pretty cool. <laughs> So, yeah, but it was also so on Angel the show with yeah. him. Yeah. And I was really pissed off, and that's the second part, with the fact that they got the the way they treated this black player and the words that they used when she did her hand and pointed to her finger, 
um, the words that they used towards Angel Reese versus the words that they used towards Caitlin Clark were not even the same. When Caitlin Clark, Clark did it, nobody made a big fuss about it. Nobody called her an effing idiot. Nobody said she was a thug. Nobody said she was classless. Nobody called her a piece of crap. And it was the S-H-I-T word. Nobody said that. But with Angel Reese, oh, all bets were off. And right, one podcast, what whatever his dumb ass House. name was. Huh? But what's that have to do with the White House? That's just... Well, I'm just saying, it was... Well, what Chris is saying was, there was already that situation going on. And then by <laughs> Jill Biden, yes. Dr. Biden, going, can we all get along? No. Yes. Okay. No, we're the champs. We get to come. We're they they don't get to come. Yeah. So now they're saying, Angel Reese is like, somebody from the team, LSU said, Michelle Obama, can we come to your house and have the celebration? And I can guarantee you, Michelle Obama's not going, well, I'm going to invite the Hawkeyes too, because can we all get along? No. Yeah, you the didn't, winner goes. <laughs> Razor Ruddock didn't get to pick his teeth up and go visit the White House after Mike Tyson smashed him up. Like, you don't, Thank second, you. second place so doesn't do come him. in. Hey, we've got an important comment from Amy Camacho. Yes. Please get Chris. Please get Chris off the screen. <laughs> oh, Amy, we oh, needed Chris because we explain. Amy, you didn't say that. isn't that one of your friends? No. You know, we have to say these are new us who are following us that don't know our relationship with Chris and Andre, because Chris is uh, the producer of our podcast, and a lot of times we like Chris to be on with us because he gives a different perspective. Uh, sometimes he sounds like a dirty old man when he laughs, but other than that, he gives Fair. a different perspective. And so, <laughs> whenever you hear that's that, pretty good. <laughs> tell me it that's doesn't. Tell me it doesn't amp up. You know, if you need a crowd, sometimes the the wheeze is yes. better than silence. So it is what it is. So we always will have Andre join us. Uh, not he won't be around since he made that square ass comment for a minute. Uh, but. We always have Chris come on, and especially with sports, because he actually gives another like um, perspective to sports. Because Kim don't be watching sports, so she coming with these dumbass comments sometimes. And you know, <laughs> oh, that was, was, so was, that so was so That was so mean. Well <laughs> that was not well thought out comment, and you know it wasn't a thought well thought out comment. Uh, and some people say I get on Kim too much because I get on me. You say I get on Kim too much and I'm too bossy. I love Kim and we've been friends for over 25 years. So we ain't got it together by now. It, it, it's, 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 <laughs> I don't even know what to say. There's wait, So some, to that note, so here's some behind the scenes for you. We have some, we have an upgrade. We're like, we're going to make the show look more professional, right? You signed off on those graphics. We got like a new logo, all that good stuff. So this is, we use a, a software to make all this happen, right? It's like a TV station thing like you see on Sherry Show. You slide, you see graphics, all that stuff. I am putting in fail safes because I can't always, you guys' schedules are just crazy. You just have to admit it. They're insane. You don't, whatever. So oh, we I have to. Wi-Fi. Oh, no. <laughs> Now you should get off the Wi Fi. Yeah. There Sorry, it is. Go ahead, Chris. Go ahead, Chris. Long story short, we're putting in fail safes to where if I can't get an engineer here in seven minutes, that I can still run the show at a lower oh, lower quality. You. Because you just yeah, you just have to admit it. It's just it is what it is. And you roll with it. Our schedules are so crazy. Uh Chris spends most of his time trying to get us together to do the podcast. And so he's got to find an engineer and sometimes we're so last minute. So he's got to pay an engineer a whole bunch of money to come in because we can't schedule anything. Andy, so he's Andy's like, like a whole bunch. <laughs> all the time. Careful how you oh, phrase that. Chris tries to in, keep Chris. Chris. Not bad. Hmm? Are you in the are you in the room that we did the room? Yeah, it yeah. doesn't look like it doesn't look like a cable access show right now. Does Thank it? God, that was and Andy's across from you. Andy's Andy's over here. So if you walk in the room over here, that's the door takes you out to yeah. the uh, to the area where you made such a big mess at breakfast, to Kim. The and then um, yeah, the hallway. So if I look forward, I see screens and Andy. But yeah, yeah, I know is. where you are. Yeah, I'm glad you. Well, Thank yeah, you. I, I'm surprised it's you all remember long. being here. It was like a, a fever dream. Oh. Wait, Chris, could you do us a favor for next week? Can you put a side-by-side -side picture 
of your before and your after when you started the hair. Remember how your oh, hair in, used to look? I can't today, but I will in like the next week's show. How about how about like in like a month around because I'm gonna lose like twenty more pounds now. So well, I'll no, tell you more don't hair picture. All it is is a headshot down. <laughs> but I'll look better, Kim. Didn't you just see how beautiful Sherry looked? But shit, my hey. body don't look that easy. Sherry gonna get me at the gym tomorrow morning at five in the morning. If I've if I've learned anything from three years of this, I've picked up a few diva traits. I got the I said bump it. I got yeah. I got that and I got the rest. <laughs> I'm doing All right, yeah. Oh man. I have to go. Oh, uh, you guys need to record to something. Too much. Okay. Okay. Don't Let's leave. Do it. We'll say bye. I'm yawning. I apologize, y'all. Yeah. So I put know. up our flyers in. We'll be uh, May 19th. We're going to be in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Uh, May 20th, Kim and I will be in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. May 21st, we're going to be in Wilmington, Delaware. We're back doing stand-up together. May 4th, we are uh, in New York City at the City Winery at Chelsea Piers at 8 o'clock on May 4th. So go to SherryShowTV.com to get tickets. We would love to see you there. We have some special guests or not. <laughs> um, I heard B-flat. Be B did did B-flat crush at the last one? Beef, oh my gosh, Beef flat killed it at the City Winery. She was with me uh, last week. She killed it, when I tell you. And we didn't go on. I didn't go on until midnight. Beef flat went on about 1 in the morning, maybe Dang. one fifteen in the morning. It was late. It went late. But this time, it's at 8 o'clock. Killed it. Uh, Kim Whitley is going to be in Las Vegas at the Jimmy Kimmel Comedy Club the weekend of Mother's Day, the Mother's Day weekend. Um, also... I'm going to be in Chicago at Riddle's Comedy Club, April 28th and April 29th. So <sighs> go to SherryShowTV.com to get your tickets. All right. Here, two shot, and the ladies will smile because people love seeing their face. This is for the thumbnail. Why is your, put your head back, Sherry. It's too big. <laughs> oh. No, it's, it's Wait, perfect. and then my line is showing from my baby hair. <laughs> from your baby smoke? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Sherry doing that. Wait, wait. Okay. No, that looks like a, I look like a the lady on the ring. Kim, your your uh, your glasses are reflecting the lights a little oh, bit. Oh wait. How Sherry got her hand. <laughs> All right, Kim, give us a give us a pr give us a Pringles smile. How about Maybelline? And Cheerios. God dog. <laughs> she did it. There you go. There's your their commercial. Sorry, ladies. Don't leave. We've got to record something. All right. All right. Oh, everybody. Good night, everybody. Thank you. So <laughs> All much. right. Oh, All right. Bye, y'all. Thank you. That was. Fun. Thank you so much for hanging with us these couple hours. We appreciate you, and thank you so very very much. Watch at your age. Happy I'm birthday, mom. Today. Thank you. Happy birthday, birthday, Jody. Jody.